It's more than 250 years old, but there are concerns that the specialised skills of those working in Birmingham's jewellery quarter could be lost. And that's why youngsters are now being encouraged to get into the trade, to safeguard the future of the quarter and all it stands for. Charlotte Grant reports. Jim Baker's been working in the jewellery trade for more than 50 years, but now he's passing on his pearls of wisdom to 23-year-old Kush Sidhu. For the past eight months, Kush has been on a pilot apprenticeship scheme in the jewellery quarter in Birmingham, designed to encourage young people to join the jewellery trade. The average age of the employees in this district, I guess, is probably 55, 60. And we hope they get some young blood in soon. Within a few years, there'll be no jewellery quarter. The trade as a whole, as well as toys, needs people like Kush to progress. Kush has proved to be an exceptionally good learner and is really picking up the skill very rapidly and I'm very proud of him. After I left uni I was uh, on job seekers allowance so my life isn't really going anywhere, progressing onto anything. You know, it's changed my life quite a lot. I know I'm going to be here until the day I die so because it's a job for life really and I quite enjoy it, every day is different so yeah I can't wait. <laughs> But the jewellery quarter needs more young people like Kush, which is why at Birmingham School of Jewellery, a new careers DVD has been launched to showcase the merits of working in the trade. It's estimated that 40% of all jewellery in the UK is made in Birmingham. The first FA Cup was produced here, as well as the whistles for the Titanic. But it's hoped that history of creativity will encourage more young people to get involved. Um, the jewellery trade is absolutely vital to Birmingham in terms of its uniqueness and so we need to, to make sure people know about these sorts of things and encourage to see the jewellery trade as a career. And with more people like Kush, it's hoped this historic corner of Birmingham will continue to be a working jewellery quarter. Charlotte Grant, The Central Tonight.